Hi guys. It is absolutely spectacularly gorgeous fall day uh, here on this gorgeous Tuesday afternoon in the end times. That would be October 12, 2021, where it is 77 degrees. 77 degrees in mid-October in the Adirondacks. Where the little dog and I are uh, going camping tonight, thinking about my life and uh, thinking about crazy women. So I just, uh, for anyone wanting to hear the story of uh, Lulu, that nasty, crazy psycho bitch who, thank God blew her fucking brains out on Saturday night, uh, saved my winter of discontent. Uh, anyone wants to hear that tragic story, uh, you can find that elsewhere. But, uh, I was just wrapping it up when the, uh, <laughs> just wrapping it up when the battery died. It hurt enough about that fucking psycho bitch and said, uh, and uh, move on with your rant. So anyway, uh, of course, the, what I'm really thinking about, uh, in addition to Lulu blowing her brains out uh, and uh, analyzing my absolute lack of emotion other than uh, relief and giddiness upon the news uh, but it's just the the whole bigger thing you know yesterday of course being the anniversary of the infamous ham sandwich episode with that mouthy little psycho bitch that I was married to for seven years half my life ago that uh, I finally balled up the fucking courage to tell that little bitch to go fuck herself and uh, walk out of that to, uh, you know, to make a new plan, Stan, and uh, get the fuck out of that situation. So, half my life uh, since, but should have learned my lesson uh, being married to one of these, these bitches for seven years. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm analyzing it. And, uh, 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 of course, what did I end up with, uh, you know, about a year after uh, getting away from that one, I ended up with another uh, fucking lunatic woman in my life for 12 fucking years. Yeah, uh, that's the one, I don't know if you, if a few of you might remember my final meltdown with that fucking bitch down there in Gainesville, Florida. I, you, you know, I went out of the goddamn frying pan uh, into the fire and uh, with pretty much the exception of, I think, let's see, with the exception of one girlfriend, you know, my my trump tard friend from Austin is, you know, the closest thing I've ever had to a soulmate. Uh, even though she is a Trump tard, the last thing she is is a psycho bitch. But not counting, not counting uh, her, pretty much every fucking, uh, every fucking woman that I have gotten together with, uh, well, hell, I mean, going, go, going right on back. I, you know, tell. Uh, when I was 23 years old, uh, w with the exception uh, of, of one woman uh, in, in pretty much the last 40 fucking years of my life. What is it? Uh, what, I, I, what is it about me that attracts uh, the, the, these goddamn crazy women? Uh, in, into my life. And uh, it's just like I'm a goddamn magnet for these crazy women. And, and it's, uh, 
and, and I still love a lot of them. You know? Uh, now that, that, that nasty bitch put a fucking bullet through her head, but she wasn't a girlfriend of mine. Uh, but, but, I mean, how do I keep attracting the, the, these fucking drama-filled, uh, mentally ill, uh, it, it, you know, whether they're doomer chicks or normies, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just like, my fucking God, why is it that fucking hard to, uh, you know, to find a woman uh, who's not a, 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 just a, a fucking whack job and it's the ones that I love are uh, in, in, in some ways uh, a, a bigger they, they eat more of my goddamn energy and my life than, than, than the fucking ones I hate it doesn't make any difference that this isn't about uh, loving or hating them so you know loving one of these damaged goods women uh, it is uh, it is more painful than if you can just hate the fucking bitch. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's easier to extricate yourself from them. But if you you know if you're in there, uh, if you get involved in, in in one of these crazy ass femme fatales, uh. <laughs> You know, and, and, and you start feeling like that you're going to, quote, fix them or, or whatever. You know, you're just, you're just going to get yourself sucked in deeper and deeper into their fucking crazy shit. And this getting sucked in to all of this pointless drama. Now, as somebody pointed out, the sex usually is good with crazy women. I, I agree. I can't remember who was it who said uh, the the nice thing about crazy women is the, the sex is great, but what do you do with the other 23 hours and 50 minutes of your day uh, with, with, the, with these crazy women? Uh, just, just these out of control, uh, loose cannons, you know, uh, one minute you think they're uh, going to be blowing their fucking heads off. <coughs> the next minute you think they're going to be running off with some dude they met at a fucking pool hall. Uh, you know, it's just why when, when I see it coming, when the first fucking red flag uh, raises itself, why don't I run like hell? You know, what is it with me falling in love with crazy women? Uh, now, obviously, I okay, guys, I, I know part of it is that I'm a crazy motherfucker myself. Uh, you would have to be crazy. You would have to be fucking crazy to, uh, to be attracted uh, to these crazy fucking women. You know, I, 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 if they were if, if they were all psycho bitches, that as I say, that would be easy. It's the ones uh, that, that aren't bitches that 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 you're uh, you know that you take pity on and uh, you you I don't know you want to protect them, you want to fucking save them, uh, you want to be the fucking catcher in the rye. Uh, for, for these women, their, their brains are damaged, <laughs> you know, but they, they tend not to be normies, although plenty of normies, uh, you know, plenty of normies are, are, are psycho also. And, and I'm not acting like women, uh, you know, have cornered the market uh, on being fucking psychos. And then my guess is there's probably more uh, than one of these fucking uh, crazy ass women uh, I've had in my life that whenever they're talking to someone about uh, their relationship with me, they're calling me a fucking psycho talking about the end of the fucking world and, uh, you know, and, and my, and my goddamn mania and my depression and, uh, it, you know, it's not like, 
it, it, it's not like I'm a fucking, uh, you know, I, it's not, not exactly a, 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 like Hambone Littletail is a fucking uh, overflowing treasure chest himself. So maybe that's part of it, that my own fucking brain is damaged. But it's just uh, unbelievable how uh, I, I let these women eat my fucking energy. You know, these two uh, crazy women that have dominated my fucking life for the past two years. Two of them. One of them who I'm hopelessly in love with trying to uh, figure out how to, you know, trying to get my goddamn, uh, my own messed up mind to override my heart. Uh, so I've got one I'm in love with uh, on one hand, and, and, and then uh, I had this other one on the other fucking hand, uh, eating my fucking brain with all her fucking bullshit which at least that came to an end Saturday night, so I'm only down to one of these crazy women. Oh, Jesus. You know, I, I obviously, I, I, I've, I, I've been uh, look, you know, asking myself uh, th th this goddamn question pretty much my whole life. What is it? that makes these women, uh, how do I let them get under my skin when all of my buddies, they, you know, they, they, they take one look, uh, well, you know, frequently, you know, I mean, being a, I mean, some of the most beautiful women are the craziest, so, uh, you know, once you get past uh, that part of it, uh, you know, once you get past that, uh, veneer on the surface and, and and peel back one epidermal layer of the onion and, and, and find out the fucking uh, volcano bubbling uh, right underneath their beautiful skin uh, getting ready to fucking blow at, 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 you know any minute uh, just just how they will eat your goddamn brain uh, you know that this isn't any any great news flash uh, how many fucking uh, books movies you know as I was saying recently I found out on Netflix that I am a that I am a Hollywood cliche that uh, guys like me were a fucking dime a dozen. That we let these these uh, that, that we 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 let these crazy women uh, take over our fucking brains, take over our hearts, obviously take over our crotches. Uh, they they cause you you know for every five seconds of joy uh, they bring into your life uh, the 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 amount of fucking heartache uh, how much time you're you're gonna be spending fucking uh, disappointed pissed off um, sad uh, lonely. You know, and when you get one of these women uh, under your skin, what you do is is you rule out any chance of actually being able to find a woman that is good for you, that appreciates uh, what you have to offer. You know, I, I don't even want to think, uh, you know, how many... Uh, how, how many perfectly nice uh, women that, that I have passed up because, uh, you know, putting Dulcinea up there on this fucking pedestal uh, that I, 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 I don't have room for a, another woman uh, in my heart uh, or my head till I get this one out of there. And uh, I, I really do uh, think it's coming to an end. 
uh, one week from today, I, you know, but to this minute, to, to this fucking minute, I am still, uh, well, I'm not holding out hope. I've, I've abandoned all hope. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it to, I, I have completely abandoned all hope that, uh, that Dulcinea uh, is uh, going to be crazy enough herself to, to jump in this truck with me. But uh, Dulcinea, if, if you're fucking crazy enough to jump in this truck, uh, I am still crazy enough to fucking let you. And, uh, Jesus, uh, imagine, uh, the shit that the two of us could stir up. Uh, go check out Dulcinea's, uh, fucking YouTube channels. Think of mixing that fucking energy, uh, uh, up with, uh, the fictional character of Hambone Littletail. I don't know if the world is ready for, uh, for the, the, the uh, potent combination of, 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 of that fucking fire and gasoline. Uh, Jesus. Could you imagine the fucking conflagration uh, if, if she and I pull off the goddamn gloves with each other and quit this fucking little bullshit game that she's been playing for two years. But uh, as they say, I've abandoned hope. But uh, she has one fucking week to tell me she's still in. But uh, I, I think that uh, it sounds like that uh, my guess is Dulcinea has found another. Uh, I, I don't know whether Dulcinea has found a, a, another uh, victim or what I'm thinking, I'm getting this sick, sinking feeling that some, uh, really fucking creepy dude, uh, this really seriously fucking creepazoid, uh, has latched on to, uh, Dulcinea and is taking her uh, e even farther down the, the the dark road that that uh, that that woman has been on. So I think that she has moved on from Hambone Littletail. She doesn't need a fucking fictional character. She's found a real one, and uh, I just don't like the whole don't like the whole feeling about it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put all this shit to, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna bury the fucking nail in the, in, in the, uh, metaphorical, uh, Dulcinea coffin in, in, in one more week, and, uh, just, just, uh, I, I have just got, I, I've got to fucking move on with my fucking life. The, the, the unbelievable amount of energy that I am handing, that, and, and my energy, I mean power, the unbelievable uh, amount of power uh, that I am, uh, that I am just handing Dulcinea. Uh, my, you know, my semi-soulmate, Trump Tard, she calls, uh, her uh, word for people like Dulcinea and Lulu, it doesn't matter which side of the fence they're on. She calls them energy vampires that you uh, that you let the, the these fucking people uh, sink their fangs into you. It doesn't matter uh, whether the fangs are are from a, a place of love or from a place of hate, whatever, if you let one of these fucking energy vampires uh, start, you know, sucking your energy, uh, that, that's your uh, unfucking believable amount of uh, your life. You're, you're just going to waste that. You're just going to, uh, you know, I mean, Don Juan, 
and, th and this is uh, oversimplifying it, uh, you know, basically when, when you have an interaction with anybody, it doesn't matter who it is, whether it's a lover or a friend, a lover, whatever, that the people that you choose to bring into your life are supposed to energize you. You're supposed to leave an interaction with one of your fellow humans emp empowered, that you, that you empower each other, that you have more energy, you have more power, more strength, more energy uh, at the end of an interaction with one of your fellow humans. Uh, and if you continually find yourself, I mean, everyone, you know, has a bad day. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Any of us can have a fucking bad day. But if over and over and over and over again that you find yourself, uh, that, that you find yourself, uh, drained of energy that you find over and over again that you have less energy after uh, investing your emotions in, into this person, then uh, you just you, you just have to let them go. You need to get beyond the place of no pity. You've got to uh, you, you've just got to move on. Uh, it's just, uh, it is, it is hard as it is, uh, to, to let an energy vampire go and, 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 you know, this term energy vampire, uh, it, it's not like your blade, you got, it, make sure you understand me and, and Don Juan and my friend and anyone who's, who's figured this out that, a person, an energy vampire, can only suck as much of your energy as you allow them to. It's you uh, to, to, to allow somebody, uh, be it uh, because you hate them or love them or whatever, the, 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 the reason is almost irrelevant. It's just that if, if you love an energy vampire, you're really fucked because it's a lot easier just to fucking walk away from a fucking energy vampire that, that you hate. But if you, you, you know, you need to look. Uh, I need to look at, at, at why do I keep falling in love with energy vampires. Uh, why can't I put my fucking guard up and, and, and ward this shit off? I, I, I'm, I'm obviously a, a fucking sucker. These, uh, you know, the, these energy vampires, uh, whatever their fucking game uh, they're playing, uh, they obviously pick up, there's something, uh, some basic flaw uh, in, 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 you know, in, in my, my own energy field uh, that these energy vampires latch onto. You know, this is why I, I, I was a fucking alien abductee. Uh, for 22 fucking years of my life, I, I let these fucking energy vampires, uh, I, you know, I, they latched onto me. You know, and I've told that story about that psychic going, uh, you know, just uh, talking to me for five seconds and, and, and said, brother, you have uh, the most evil energy, uh, the most evil motherfuckers in this universe attached to you. Took me 22 years to get rid of those little motherfuckers. 
and you know, I, you know, I've told the story a hundred times. I mean, the way I got those energy vampires, I mean, from another fucking dimension, uh, they come in from another dimension to fucking latch on to me and, and, and take my power. It was just to invite them in. Say, okay, you fucking energy vampire, give me your fucking best shot. And, and as soon as I, <clears throat> and, and, you know, openly <coughs> invited them, they had no more interest in me. You know, dealing with fucking energy vampires, and, it, and it's it, it's not just a you know a boy girl thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's 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 friends, it's coworkers, it's bosses, it's employers, it's employees. Uh, a, a fucking energy vampire is a fucking energy vampire. Uh, and, and of course, uh, one person's energy vampire, uh, you know, is another person's energy, whatever that would be. Uh, I, I, I am quite sure that, um, you, you know, some people have interactions uh, with, with, with who I would consider an energy empire, uh, an energy vampire, and they, and, and they would come back energized from the encounter. Uh, but anyway, energy vampires. I don't know. I might, uh, I might be every bit as much of an energy vampire uh, in Dulcinea's mind or minds, uh, then, then, uh, she is in mine, but, uh, I still, to this minute, after all of this, uh, I, I'm still holding on to this, you know, this delusion that, uh, if, if I can get Dulcinea to fucking channel her energy into joining uh, up with me. Uh, you know, we can turn this thing around. And, uh, but you, 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 you know, you can't force a, a, a fucking energy vampire. You can't force, uh, it, it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, I've been uh, letting uh, Dulcinea know now for two years and four months uh, that I am available to her. And uh, she clearly has no fucking interest in it. Uh, just, she, she's just getting some sick, twisted perverse uh, masochistic pleasure, I guess, or sadistic. I don't know. I honestly don't know if the pleasure that, uh, that Dulcinea is getting out of uh, playing this fucking weird little game that she's been playing. I, I, I don't know whether. Uh, are you a sadist or are you a masochist, darling? Uh, but I'm neither. I, I, I'm not a sadist and I'm not a fucking masochist. Although you would never know that about me not being a masochist. Uh, looking at my fucking track record with crazy fucking women. But anyway. It is what it is and it will be what it will be. And uh, I am coming in to uh, where I'm looking for my campsite. So I've got to pay attention to my driving. So I will be coming back at you shortly, guys. Uh, I am at my destination. I know that it's just down the road. So I'm going to wrap up the crazy woman rant and see if I can uh, manifest a campsite without a clueless fucking moron in it. Bye guys.